Ah, welcome back, Slayers, to another best weekly farms in the First Ascendant. Take advantage of these from September 10th to the 17th. Streaming on Twitch, Talon Slayer, where we do these live. Come hang out. On the 21st, we'll be doing a massive birthday stream. Now, starting with our external components. White Knight Goach, Order's Veil, vale will be your best mission for the memory. A simple mission. There was a farm for auxiliary power here last week. You're also getting the blue brains for this mission. We still need to farm some. Would be worried about defense and MP recovery for general uses and bossing. For farming, go with firearm proficiency and gold increase. Now, sensor for this week takes us to the fortress, the converter facility, and the best place to farm will be the Valby outpost. Typically, for these solo outpost farms, lower your damage and range. Now, for these particular outposts, this is kind of how I set my Valby up. Um, I just put some more duration, put defense, HP, only one like damaging thing, more HP, a little skill duration. I also put on an HP collector, typically for the solo play, because the boss likes to step in the trails. If you have someone else, typically they'd be on Sharon, just unlocking the boss in the middle. Now here, I like to have max MP roll without a doubt, paired with consumable drop or character XP for farming. Go with MP recov for bossing. Now we actually have three external components this week, which is very nice. Now over in Echo Swamp, the Muskeg Swamp Tree of Truth mission for our processor. Now I got lots of mods for good chances at the drops. Here, max HP is the main role with equipment drop rate and item acquisition distance. Not really much else to go over this mission, it's pretty straightforward. Now, while we're still in the Echo Swamp, this takes us to our Descendant Reactors. Over in the Misty Woods now, we have the Hazy Swamp mission for Impact Tech Reactor, and this would be good for Lepic. Typically here, we want skill crit damage and damage to Colossus being the best in slot. Now, in this mission, lots of mods spawn quickly here. Easy clear if you still don't have a good Lepic Reactor. Now, regarding Valby and Glaive, takes us back to the White Knight Gulch over in the Hatchery region. The upper hatchery mission will be your best one. Here we're getting general rounds, non-attribute, dimensional. Now, typically for Glaive, we want that Python mounting, which is your best in slot. Now here, based on kind of what you have leveled up with your modules, your reactor would be as follows. Cooldown, damage to Colossus, or maybe duration and damage to Colossus. Now on Valby, we would want same thing, depending on our descendant modules cooldown, skill cost, or go skill crit damage and cooldown. Alrighty, now going to Freyna, we have our General Rounds Tech Reactor. Here we'd be looking for something like the Fallen Hope or Thunder Cage Mounting. This takes us over to Hagios, the Corrupted Zone. We have this deep mission here. Simple layout. Definitely a lot of mobs spawning here, so you do have way more chances for that reactor drop. On reactor, go for something like cooldown and duration or cooldown and range. Same thing, pretty straightforward. Just exterminate, follow the objective, and you'll be done. Now, going into Bunny, we have our electric general round singular reactor. And that takes us over to Kingston, the Grand Square, and the Kingston surveillance radar mission will be your best one to farm. Here, we want Thunder Cage mounting, skill crit rate, and skill crit damage or go skill effect range with electric or singular boost. This is all vary on your particular bunny build and if you're using the ultimate version or not. Another pretty easy clear mission and it ends right where it starts to so do it as many times as needed. Now we have a Haley frozen tech reactor on the power slot mounting. Now tech means nothing for Haley guys, but we covered the best Haley farm last week. This week at best you can still get a power mounting frozen reactor. It'll take us over to the sterile land, rock fall. Best mission here will be the anticipated ambush point. Now it's a quick clear, typically 30 seconds or less. There are better farms, but this is a classic spot. Best in slot will be your skill crit damage and damage to Colossus on that reactor. Now after glow or piercing light mounting, piercing light will offer you the most firearm attack flat at base, so more overall damage. But if you do have a more decked out afterglow, or like an energy activator on and some crystal slots, you might as well go with the afterglow mounting. Thank you guys for watching. If you found anything helpful, make sure you like the video, follow and subscribe. And remember to slay and conquer.